Hi, my name is Colin. I'm a professional speaker and a speaker coach. Recently, my wife came to me with a little bit of a challenge, and I wanted to share the results with you because I think it's really helpful. She was asked to give an inspirational talk as part of a virtual speaking hour, and she is a salary negotiation coach. She is a total expert in her field, helps a lot of people. However, she, I don't believe, has given 800 speeches or more like I have. <laughs> and so I'm always thrilled when I can share some of the results and the techniques that I've developed so that other people who aren't professional speakers can still connect with their audience and really get their message across in a lot less time, right? So I started thinking about this and really the question is this, can you present your material as though it's memorized, it's you know crafted and, and ideal without spending 300 hours memorizing it. So with a little bit of coaching uh, on my part and, a, and an idea I'm gonna share with you in a minute, this is what Lindsay looked like when she gave her presentation. But even as a kid, I can recall looking at this guy who had all of the knowledge in the world on how to improve himself and he just wouldn't take action. He always struggled to make ends meet. And it just seemed like even as a little kid, I picked up on like he always got in his own way. And when I reflect on that, I think it's from him that I get my drive. I'm so proud of how well she did. A lot of that is to her hard work and to her trust in the process. And I want to share with you how we solve that problem. Because I think you can agree that when a, a presenter is clearly reading their material, whether it's from a podium or whether it's you know in a virtual speech, it detracts from this sort of unquantifiable feeling of presence and authenticity. It's taken me a long time to learn this, but our job when we present is not to be perfect. It's to be present. That's what we're there to do, to be in the room or be in the Zoom with our listeners and to show we really care and we want to be here having this conversation. And when you read, it has this way of just kind of getting in the so I don't know, just kind of taking away from that. So here's the solution. You would take a Word document, you would bring your margins in from the sides, up from the top, and then you would get your material into keywords using size 18 font or bigger. The reason for this font size is number one, it's easy to see from uh, any distance, even away from your camera. And number two, it prevents you from being able to like fit those long, beautiful lines and amazing points that you want to make, you know, word for word in your set list. It, it frees you from that and allows you to just get the message and the idea across. If you're speaking live, you can print it out and put it on a stool next to you like this. Or if you're screen sharing, you can print it out and tape it above the screen so that people don't see your document. Just utilize the space near the recording light above it instead of below it. And then what you want to do is you want to record yourself doing this and see if it works for you. See if the results really achieve what you wanted to achieve. Full disclosure, I am using this technique right now. I came up with the outline of this video like 10 minutes ago and I just wanted to see if the concept really works. So I, I hope that you'll find from watching Lindsay's example that it allows you to share your personal story to get into your content in a more meaningful way without the crutch or without the detractor of needing to get every word perfectly. It allows you to be present and to show up as your real, authentic, articulate, expert self. I hope that's helpful. That is an easy, free, quick way to look like you've memorized your presentation without spending 300 hours actually doing it.